What's going on, y'all? This Conway, a.k.a. Talk to Him Con, and I'm here with a little bit of Talk to Him news. So I just want to give a round of applause to my man, Pusha T. He has his first ever number one album on Billboard 200 chart with It's Almost Dry. Now, It's Almost Dry to me has been one of his better works because of the production on there with the thanks to Kanye and um, Pharrell. Not want my man to be a um, a mixtape rapper anymore. So, It's Almost Dry earned 55,000 equivalent album units in the first week with 83% coming from streaming. That's all we do now. We stream. So, if you're looking for something, we're definitely going to stream it. But, um, 83% of his, you know, sales came from streaming. His third album to reach the top 10, peaking at number three, and uh, which was Daytona. And um, he had My my Name Is My Name that landed at number four. Now, never had a number one, but he always stayed in that top 10. But... Billboard has released saying that Pusha's T's short album is the second short album this year to gain number one status and the first person people that did it this year was Stray Kids. I listened to them you know they, they kind of dope um, but the album was called Ordinary and I believe they um, did 55,000 units the first week as well. Now it's Almost Dry was produced by Kanye West Pharrell. And the production on this album has been finito. Like it was it was it was everything, man. I've been bumping this shit since it came out. Um I don't I had to put myself on withdrawals from this shit, but it's definitely a, a banger. Um, now he has a, a bunch of collaborations on here with, you know, Jay Z, Kid Cudi, Lil Uzi Vert, um, Don Tolliver, and a couple other people. But the biggest surprise is his brothers on here, talking that talk, bro. Um, so I, I definitely want to hear another clips album after hearing Malice talking that talk. But um, it wasn't the talk that he usually talked that you hear from the clips but if you started following him recently on his last, his his album when he you know had the um I guess it's called gospel rap and things like that but it it was more so like close to what you used to him doing so can't wait till they drop that if they ever do drop that but I want to say congratulations to my man Push it for grabbing that number one spot. So now no one can say shit about him. And he definitely have to be in that conference that conversation of who when they say top five did it alive, he has to be. Comment below, let me know. Are you bumping this push a T? Do you think it was too much? Or you tired of the drug rap? Because he's definitely the drug rap king. Comment below, let me know. Follow. Subscribe, peace.